Morning world! I need to hear from Hasbury Snuggles Mentoring and also my YouTube channel, Anita's Kiss. Keep it simple, keep it smart. Today I'd like to share with you some thoughts on overwhelm. Overwhelm is something that is inevitable and it can hit you at any time. I only had just a little session of it this morning, I'd say. It creates a lack of focus and a lack of clarity which brings a no production or slows production down so much so that it feeds off itself and and you become more and more overwhelmed. So what we want to do today is put some coping practices into place so that you don't get onto that hamster wheel of it getting worse and worse and you can actually step off and get back focused again. So we're gonna have um, four steps during in, for this process, which also includes a mantra for each. So if you're ready, let's begin. So the first thing we're gonna do is to allow ourselves to become totally aware of what we're feeling. If we can actually state it out loud, then that will have an effect on our body. It will make us realize um, what is happening. So do your best to just state it as simply as possible as a fact. So the mantra here is going to be, I am willing to acknowledge what I'm feeling. I am willing to acknowledge what I'm feeling. So you do that to begin with, and then we can move on to step two, which is about being in this, the present moment. They say that depression is when we are looking in the past, thinking about things that have happened in the past, and that anxiety comes from our worry about the future. So if we can bring both of those back to this, the present moment, then those things can't be happening. Get in the present. Now the way we do that is with our breath. So we need to inhale slowly and exhale slowly. Feel your breath as you inhale and feel it as you slowly exhale. Relax. Inhale and observe what's happening. And exhale and let it go with no judgment. Inhale and exhale slowly, three to 10 times. And as you do that, as you inhale, think of inhaling peace. And as you exhale, think of you passing out all that overwhelm, all those anxious feelings are leaving your body. Deep breathing is one of the best ways to get our body to relax. It sends messages to the brain as you do it slowly to actually calm everything down. And it helps you gain a different perspective. That's what we need to do is we design, so the mantra, so the mantra for this one is, we design our life by the actions we choose in the present moment. We design our life by the actions we choose in the present moment. On to step three, and that is about gratitude and appreciation. These get our bodies vibrating at the highest levels, which is why they make us feel so good. So there's not too much we need to do here, but where the focus goes, the energy flows. So we need to get this energy all focusing in the right place. So we need to think about another four things here, which is one, is what are you grateful for in this moment? Two, who are you appreciative of? Three, what are you appreciative of? And four, what did you do today that you are really proud of? So what are you grateful for at this moment in time? Who do you appreciate? What do you appreciate? And what is it you did today that you are proud of? 
doing this practice is the quickest way to change your perspective without changing what has actually happened. So our mantra for this is I can change my experience by changing my perspective. I can change my experience by changing my perspective. And number four, last but not least, is really, really important. It is about self-care. Caring for the most important person to us is us. We cannot help others unless we are looking after ourselves. And we are our own worst critic, so be gentle. So by going through change or any transition, strong emotions, it's essential to keep thinking about ourselves. Some of the best ways are um, walking in nature is, one, is my absolute most favorite and I do every day just to ground myself, look at the mountains, look at what's happening. Um, spring, summer, autumn, winter, there's all, always something changing and I love just checking on things. Um, the other thing you can do is take a bath or read a book, take time out of every day to do a little of something just for you. Um, there are also some other weird things I, I do occasionally as have a little dance party all to myself, just put on some music real loud and forget about everything else. Um, you can go for a spa treatment and one thing that you perhaps haven't thought about is actually taking some mentoring or coaching because during that time your mentor helps you focus and that is what we've lost here during overwhelm. He can really get you back on the right path. So it's really a place of, of clarity. Once you get that clarity, then the overwhelm falls aside. So the mantra for this step is that every day I make time for myself. Every day I make time for myself. I hope that's been a help. If you could share your biggest takeaway from those things or what's happened to you during our well one below, then please do. And if you'd like to share, um, then please share with your friends. You never know who might need this message just at this point in time. Thank you and I will see you soon. Morning world. I need to hear from Hasbury Snuggles Mentoring. And also, probably on my Facebook channel, 